I'm Josh Bruneau. I'm with um, I'm with Lenny Kreselberg's LA Current. So Josh, tell me your thoughts. You had three hours of stuff to absorb mm -hmm. there. Um, what's the big thing you take out of the, the chat you had this morning? Uh, I guess the biggest thing is this is a really, really exciting concept for our sport. Uh, it's a great opportunity to grow it. It's a great opportunity to be able to extend the careers of a lot of very hardworking professional swimmers who quite frankly deserve that. Um, I really hope that we can sort of coexist with our sports governing body so that, you know, a ton of the, the world's best athletes are not banned from the world championships and the Olympics. Um, because this is a really, really cool thing that I really think should be be pursued in the U.S. and Europe and, and eventually worldwide. The thing that amazes me though is why it's taken so long. Here we are, mm -hmm. well into the 21st century. The sport's been around for a long, long time. Yeah. Why do you think it's taken now for somebody to go, this is where we need to go with this? <laughs> I don't know why it's taken so long, but I'm glad that it did finally happen, you know? Uh, Constantine's a great mind, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really happy that he's bringing this concept to our sport because I think it's one that we need. What? What difference do you think it might have to the sport as a whole, in terms of its profile, maybe the people it brings into it? It can definitely grow viewership, right. Um, it's pretty hard when your sport is only cared about once every four years. And I do think it is because of that, um, that very individual format. It's boring to watch. There's too many victory ceremonies and speeches and whatnot. Um, so I think making it more fan-friendly, more viewer-friendly, and more media-friendly um, is something that's really going to benefit it for, for everyone involved. Do you know it has, to me, a bit of a feel of Jewel in the Pool? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the whole That's a great format. Is, yeah. yeah. And, and it's kind of like taking what that established and moving it forward. Right, yeah. I think it does kind of speak to um, kind of how stuck in the past our sport is that it takes new and creative formats like this, just anything other than normal swimming, uh, to make the sport exciting. So, um, you know, people love the team aspect of professional sports. You know, I'm a, I'm a Green Bay Packers fan. I love following NFL football because I want to see the Packers win. Uh, so bringing that to swimming is definitely something that we got to do. How is it going to change your calendar right, in terms of how you do prep and uh, how you do the little segments of the year making sure you're, you're top of your game? I don't think it's honestly going to change it that much. Um, especially for, for you know, some international people who do have a lot of competitions every year. Excuse me. Um, for some international people who have a lot of competitions, they're already getting up and racing fast, you know, once every two, three, four weeks. So, so they're used to that. And for me, coming out of the college system in the U.S., um, you know, for the past six years, I've been used to having a competition about once a month, which I have to be prepared for. So, you know, I don't think I'll be putting up world record swims once a month, and I don't think that, you know, that's going to be expected of anyone. But I do think that. You know, a lot of us are, are sort of already in that mode where we're good enough athletes at this point to know what our body needs to, to be able to perform well. Maybe not maximally, but well once a month. How much does it help that there's not a pressure on you to go and break U.S. records or world records or whatever? It's just going out there and winning and racing. It's very pure, right? It's, it's just who gets your hand on the wall that first that day. Um, so I think kind of taking out that expectation of just the maximum human performance once every four years or once every year even. Um, it, it does bring that pureness to the sport. What are you going to do with the money? <laughs> Buy a house. <laughs> Invest. Save. <laughs> no. Um, I still don't think that uh, well, swimmers are going to be living like footballers anytime soon, but, you know, we're well, getting closer. It, it does so change the quality of your life potentially, doesn't it? It does, right. Oh, and, and to be able to, to do the sport that you love for that much longer, I don't think that uh, you should discount the value in that either.